Are we live here at uh, the Baguela Cerveceria? This is uh, December 16th, 2019. Moto guy Daniel Palazzolo, also known as Zolo. Man out of Atlanta, Georgia, now living in Puerto Veras, Chile. All right. But I'm here today with, with Eric, Jane, and Dave David, a.k.a. Baby Seal, a.k.a. Yellow, Yellow Yeti. And then we're here with Jane, a.k.a. Dangerous, and Eric, a.k.a. Easy. -E. So we're on day 16 right now after riding all of Patagonia from Puerto Veras to Ushuaia back to Puerto Natales. And we're going to talk to these fine folks about their experience on the road. So we'll start with Dave, a.k.a. Yellow Yeti, a.k.a. Baby, J Baby Seal GS. What do you think, man? Well, you know, it's a, it's a great question. Um, I don't know what people's expectations are for Chile. It's, uh, it's a wonderful place. I had a lot of concerns because there were, um, you know, there's stuff going on, but um, that was nothing to be worried about, really. We're here in southern uh, Chile, Patagonia, it's absolutely mind-blowing, beautiful scenery, great riding, um, 17 days, our biggest, best adventure yet on motorcycles. Wow, look at that. Listen to this guy, he's got super happy, he did great, really pushed it hard, we had some big days in there, so Jane, I'm going to pass it off to you because you know what, Jane, you, you rode your own motorcycle, so it was four bikes, four riders. And I got to say, Jane, you crushed it. You crushed it. You did a really good job. So what do you have to say about the trip? My experience. Uh, it the G650 GS. Uh, GS. So, so the great thing is that Daniel got a G650 GS BMW for me because that's what I ride at home. And I'm, I'm not that tall and I'm not that big. So it was, it's the perfect bike for me and I already know how to ride it. And the fact that he got me the bike that I ride uh, sealed the deal so that I could do this ride. And I would say I really prepped for it. Uh, Dave had me on dirt roads every weekend, every chance we got. We were riding gravel. We did Vermont. We did New Hampshire. We did Maine. Uh, and it's not that windy up there compared to yeah, Argentina. So the only, the only, yeah. You can't train for that. The only thing I couldn't train for was the wind. And really that was the anxiety I had. Because I, I felt like I felt like I could do the dirt and I could do the gravel. We don't get snow in uh, uh, those states either. In the, in the <laughs> we don't ride our bikes when it's snowing. So I had fun. I was challenged. Uh, and now I feel a sense of accomplishment and that I really am a better rider now. Yay! Awesome. That's awesome. Cheers. Listen, listen to this. Good word, big words from Jane. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks yeah, to yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks to me. Right. Yeah. Moto Patagonia. So anyhow, so that was, that was uh, awesome that Jane completed this ride because it is a big ride. We had some big days. We had a lot of weather uh, to contend with wind. It did snow on us one day, which was kind of challenging to say the least, but um, the small group really made all that possible. We could do this ambitious ride because there was just four of us and we were all riding well. So now I'm going to pass it over to my man Eric over here from Atlanta, Georgia, my hometown, one of my peoples who was with me the whole time right behind me in my mirror riding up at the front, charging, leading the way, filming. He's the media guy. He's capturing everything on film. I got to ask you, Eric. Did you enjoy your time here in southern Chile and Argentina? Yeah, I, I, I haven't been riding in a lot of years. I mean, I've been riding for about three years now. And um, I did a great trip across the U.S. and I did a great trip up to Alaska. Um, and uh, a lot of times I like to ride by myself. And so this small group was uh, really great for me because it gave us that kind of riding style that I love. And, I, and, and we had the flexibility. and. And it was so fun to be, I think even the first day, just kind of meeting uh, Dangerous and Baby Seal. <laughs> yes. We, uh, yeah, we, 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 really, we really kind of clicked. And I mean, it was, it was, it was, um, I, and I think you said that small group, and I think that made a real big difference in terms of the things that we were able to do and uh, the uh, kind of the relaxing nature and, and even to deal with all of the, 
the unexpected things that uh, that happened along the way, you know, whether it was the landslide or the snow, the snowstorm, or you know the Winds. you know the the wind and the rain. Um, I mean, we really had a great time. And, yeah. I, and of all the rides I've been on, I mean, this is by far um, the most enjoyable uh, ride. Challenging. Um, it, it was a great time. He awesome. crushed it. He did. Oh, he yeah. crushed it. This guy, I loved it. I loved this, guy, it. this guy crushed it. It's true. He, uh, he rode really well. I'm, I'm happy having led this group. They were really positive the whole time, even on the challenging days, on the long days, even in the snow. We went through a lot. We had landslides that blocked the road we had snow on the road we made it through everything um no complaints everybody was positive it was a good ride it was awesome and we got it we got to give a shout out to our man chad here roland bagualis cerveceria in puerto Nevales, chile puerto, puerto Nevales, chile here we are yeah we're at we're at the ipas this is a real west coast style idea. yeah right here <laughs> And I gotta say, great, great beer, great beer. And this guy's a, he's a motocarder also. He's a rider, so straight out of California. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for your hospitality, Anytime. letting us letting Look us film that. here. Yeah, it's awesome. It's a great place. So, yes, we're ending our trip. Last day. We're signing off here. We got our crew. We're gonna have some beers and celebrate. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>